What's going on guys? I finally got my hands on the NCAA Football 13 demo after it came out a day later on the PlayStation Network than the Xbox 360. It came out yesterday and I got to play it a little bit and then I edited it up and now I'm giving you guys this gameplay here. And the first thing I did when I got into the demo was go to the share the demo portion of the demo and I shared it with one of my friends and got five Nike Pro Combat jerseys for the full game. We got Boise State, Navy, Stanford, Ohio State, and LSU. And then in the actual demo itself, you can play as six teams. There's three different games that are all big Week 10 matchups in the NCAA football season. You got Oregon against USC, Baylor against Kansas State, and of course LSU against Alabama, which we saw twice last time when Alabama was the national champions. But here we go into the demo we go, and I'm playing as USC see because my Vikings got Matt Khalil and they also drafted Red Ellison from uh, USC so I decided to play as them and I don't know much of their players but I wanted to play them because they had Robert Woods and I think he's one of the top receivers in the nation I'm not quite sure because I don't watch a lot of college football myself I'm more of an NFL guy but I like playing the college games and I watch college football every now and then because I want to see future NFL players but I wanted to use the USC Trojans Robert Woods good receiver Matt Barkley solid quarterback and I knew they had a pretty good all-around team, and so I wanted to use them against Oregon, each guy's first gameplay. And the first thing I honestly noticed about this game, I know this is going to sound really ridiculous, but the first thing I noticed was that the names underneath the players are so much better and easier to read this year. Last year, they were all white, if I remember correctly, and I didn't like the font, and they were sometimes hard to read every now and then, but this year, they're much better. That sounds ridiculous, I know, and... That was just the first thing I honestly noticed, and so when I got into the game, it did feel a little bit different than NCAA Football 12, and although I like last year's game, I also like the feel of this demo so far. My main complaint right now is that I didn't see anywhere where I could change my actual difficulty on the game. I wanted to play on a harder difficulty. I'm pretty sure I'm playing on Varsity. And you can see me come through with a linebacker right here and sack the quarterback. But I just wanted to play with like a harder difficulty because I really wanted to test how this game was going to be. And I knew about the gameplay fixes, I've been monitoring all the news that's been coming out and all the information about this game and Madden, I know about the new shovel passes, I know about the new like throwing trajectories which I'm really excited about because linebackers in last years, both NCAA and Madden, were ridiculous at getting interceptions. But the second thing I noticed is you're going to see it right here on this next play. I'm running the ball with my running back, Curtis McNeil. And look at that sidestep right there. Now, on Madden, it's more of a juke. I think it's still called the juke on here. Like, it popped up on my screen showing me, like, a different control every now and then. And it is the juke. It's more of a sidestep if you saw it there. I'm used to, like, Adrian Peterson in my Vikings franchise. And that may be why it's so different to me and why it seems so weird at the time just to do a little sidestep like that. It was efficient, and I love running the ball in both NCAA and Madden because I love using the right stick and having complete control over my running back and trying to do all sorts of different moves and I just think it's the most fun for me to do I'd rather run the ball than pass the ball but as far as the gameplay goes I thought it felt really good the game felt a little bit different from last year but it was nothing bad and I know this game does not have the new infinity engine that the Madden game is running on this year hopefully NCAA has it next year and a lot of people have been complaining about the lack of changes or the lack of new features in the NCAA game but that's not even really a big deal to me they've been talking about the new Heisman challenge mode and I look at it as just a expansion of Road to Glory and a new way to play it just one season with an ex Heisman trophy winner it's a pretty good like a high score type of mode try to get as many yards with RG3 or do whatever you want to do with what player but I wish they would have had some defensive players I would personally love to do a Heisman challenge mode with Charles Woodson but that's not an option there's no defensive players for me to choose from but this game so far it plays a lot like last year a little bit different but it's a very solid game and you can notice the bottom line is very very realistic I mean they have the exact ESPN graphics there and it's popping up really nice and they also have in-game actual like game breaks where they show you like you'll see the screen a little bit I can't really explain it but you'll see it and so back to the new implementations into the game I know it's not a lot of feature based stuff besides Heisman challenge mode which I'm not sure if everybody really likes that I think it's okay I'm not not really going to get into it a ton. I might play one or two of them, but I mainly want to focus on the Dynasty stuff, and I think the main fixes in this year's game are gameplay, and that's what I look at. I'm a hardcore gamer. When I play a football game, I want a realistic experience, and I don't want to play arcade football, 
and so there's new passing trajectories, the shovel pass, and just, I think they tuned the game, like the read and react defense, I think it's just getting better and better. I just wanted the games this year to take a step in the right direction from Madden 12 and NCAA 12, and so for me personally, I am happy right now with NCAA 13 and Madden 13, what I've seen so far, and you can see here the studio update, and it'll be really cool when we have the actual names, we can go into our dynasties, and it'll just be more authentic, they do a great job as far as presentation goes on the NCAA side of things. And even though the changes this year for NCAA Football 13 may seem very subtle, at least I can do plays like this. I mean, look at this nice throw. That's a nice passing trajectory right there. That's going to make the game better, more realistic. It's more enjoyable for me. And so on a personal level, I like this NCAA Football 13 demo. You should go give it a try and go get your five Nike Pro Combat uniforms for the full game. But I just wish there was more difficulties to play on. I didn't see if I could change difficulty at all because I really wanted to test the AI. I wanted to throw the ball deep to Robert Woods and try to see this new read and react defensive AI and see how good the SWAT animations are and how good the interactions would be. But I really couldn't test a lot of that because I was probably playing on an easy difficulty and the computer wasn't giving me too much of a challenge. So I came in and I stomped Oregon. I unlock Archie Griffin for the Heisman Challenge mode in NCAA 13. But anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Please do leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. It really helps me out and helps the video get seen. And I'll have plenty more NCAA 13 demo gameplay and some talk about the full game coming up. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.